your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Chrissy is hilarious. Chrissy, have you ever heard of the comedian Basha K. Ali? No, that sounds like something you yell at before you blow up a plane. <laughs> 30 seconds remaining. But you know what could you say? I doubt it will stand up to something. I haven't been disrespectful to you at all. I was very confused by the title, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, because that's also what we call it when the ass takes off his shirt. (laughs) (laughs) I shouldn't be up here. I should be in school on the other side of the ocean. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of the Chrissy Mayer podcast. You can listen to this podcast on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, Rumble, Rockfin, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook. Oh my God, everywhere. Happy Eclipse Day, everybody. It is Monday, April 8th. Remember, you can still join the baby pool. Venmo $10 to my very good friend, Gino Bisconti, with the date, weight, and time, and you will be entered to win a bunch of money, or who knows, maybe even the baby. We'll see how I feel. Get it going. Smash the like button. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, I, let me know if my internet is lagging a little bit. I have some windows that are not clicking away. It's all good. It's all good. Um, without further ado, I'm going to bring in my very favorite, uh, my very favorite gal who covers all things royals british paparazzi pop culture all of the things she's just a blast welcome back to the show steph the alter nerd hey yo, chrissy how's it going my goodness oh my, I'm god. oh my god i'm so sorry i'm late i was like texting steph i was like uh, i'm leaking some kind of fluid i don't know if it's p- pregnancy related i'm sure i'm fine we'll just do this because you're busy i'm busy <laughs> why would we reschedule I'm sure it's fine. We we all leak fluid at some time in our lives, don't we? Totally. Especially <laughs> women. Monthly. Whatever's like it's it's it happens. I was like, it's probably fine. Um, congrats on getting a hundred thousand subscribers. That is such an exciting achievement. Were you did you expect it? Were you um were you surprised? No, I was expecting it due to the rate that it was uh going up. But I wasn't expecting it to happen last weekend. Wow. <laughs> um, it just completely like accelerated so much quicker, um, like Thursday, Friday. And so, yeah, my me and my boyfriend, uh, Friday was a little bit of a rough day for me. But uh, my boyfriend and I, we were kind of like up until like quarter past two in the morning, just watching it until it got to like the hundred thousand. And then I turned on some Walter Bridge and I was like, screw it i'm just gonna dance and i did and wow I did. <laughs> when, did you, when did you start watching the count like how many away were you um so i started watching the count when we were like ninety nine thousand, um and then it just started going like wow. that. I'm like, oh bloody hell my partner's like damn i was expecting it to happen next week started planning stuff for you why is it happening now it's too soon it's too soon there's just so much going on um what i find i guess because i am currently pregnant oh let's just fix my camera good my camera just uh decides to black out on me this uh, the eclipse i think is already fucking with my technology um do you are you are you guys going to be able to see the eclipse from where you're at not really no there's gonna be like a partial kind of situation happening i think but yeah the 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 uk we're not in a great vantage point for it but i don't really care about that i'm more fascinated about all the conspiracy theories the dumb conspiracy theories as far as i'm concerned that's kind of like going out uh about like oh the eclipse means it's the coming of the messiah or the eclipse means it's the end of days because it's kind of crossing this kind of town and it's going like this and blah 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 and i'm like 
Oh, dudes, dudettes. Hold on. The portal, a portal to a new dimension will be opened and Why? even more illegals will come out. <laughs> I'm, I'm there thinking, dudes, like, come your tits. Yeah, um, we, it's we don't have enough to worry about legitimately rather it's than just a little bit of darkness for four minutes. What the hell? What the hell? Like, yeah, it's, it's it's quite funny. It's quite funny. Oh, and the other one is like the Illuminati, all the lizard people. It's like <laughs> some kind of strange cockamamie plan to continue to rule the world and take control, even though the same conspiracy theories are already right. said that they've already taken control. Now, this is where they're taking control now, right? If if, if the lizard people are real, they're not going to wait for an eclipse to, to work their magic. They're going to just do it whenever they feel like. Pretty much, yeah. Um, That's so interesting. Do you have any kind of update on... It makes sense that you hit 100K as fast as you did because there seems to be so much gossip and in the royal family. Uh, have there been any updates at all about Prince Andrew? Last time we talked, it seems like he was kind of laying low and the royal family was kind of preemptively um sort of ostracizing him or just I guess kind of pretending he doesn't exist seems to be their current plan so that current plan is still in place to a certain <laughs> degree uh we have we have found that um he's starting to come out from the corner of which he was banished to uh, trying to set center stage a little bit. Um, uh, most recently with the Easter holiday that just happened and all the royal family uh, going to church and he's there walking out in front uh, with all the paparazzi there to see. So there's that. Uh, more recently, uh, the Netflix series Scoop was released, which is all about the absolutely disastrous <laughs> Prince Andrew interview on Newsnight. And... Really, the gossip coming out of that is that there's a scene uh, where he goes and he decides not to watch it or something along those lines. And he goes in for a bath and then he comes out and we see the actor of Prince Andrew and his bare butt. And people are on a oh. with that. I'm like, whatever. It's a bare butt. So what? It ain't Prince Andrew's bare butt, quite literally. It's the actor that's playing Prince Andrew's bare butt. But people right. are taking offense to that for some reason and i'm like yeah whatever wow um yeah uh, all the buzz surrounding the british royal family of late has been centered around the medical trials facing king charles princess kate both dealing with undisclosed cancers which i don't know do, are you are there conspiracy theories that, that that these two don't even have cancer i've heard theories that kate died months ago and they're just trying to <laughs> get some kind of clone suitable to take her place all the conspiracy theories <laughs> are bs when it comes to prince charles and princess catherine it's absolutely disgusting for people to say for either of them oh they've passed away uh all oh, the lying about their cancer uh oh it's more worse than the letting on uh, oh, yeah, Princess Kathleen actually is taking time out because she's done a nonsense to herself kind of thing. This is all ridiculous BS. It's not true. The truth of the matter is this. Both King Charles and Princess Kathleen have been diagnosed with cancer. They're currently going through treatment. That's it. There is nothing else to report. Uh, but, you know, the internet, certain people can't help themselves and they have to joke about it or create these conspiracy theories and promote them. And it's like, this is ridiculous. Leave them alone. I wonder, I wonder their if lives. people hell? have a hard time thinking like, well, Kate, Kate is so young. She's too young to get cancer. And because... Um, pe people didn't like Princess Diana and she was murdered. Maybe that's what they want for her. But I'm like, if anything, Kate has always, she's kind of fit in and towed the line. She hasn't, it's not like she's got spicy tweets or anything. Um, I feel like she was, you know, she was a model briefly a little bit when her and Will were first dating, but I think more or less she's fit the mold of what the Royal family 
uh, can appreciate. Like, I, I think it's more Megan, at least in contrast to Megan Markle, she seems to be the one that's better behaved. So I can't see them wanting to take her out. Well, it's, this is the thing. It's like, yeah, the, the, Princess Catherine is an asset to the royal family not a liability she is like the most popular one whenever she wears anything that's affordable wherever that's from it sells out instantly she makes instant headlines wherever she goes so for this for that rumor to be bandied about doesn't make sense i mean there were freaking there were freaking rumors that oh uh with the mother's day picture she sat down because she had a brazilian butt lift oh no we're not actually <laughs> seeing her face yeah she's, she's the last person it. that's gonna get a bbl she's like very j crew thin and chic she's right? not gonna, she's not gonna get ass implants anytime exactly. soon or any kind of injections it's just not the british aesthetic i feel like not really no um, but the other thing is, it's like, you know, oh, um, she's photoshopping her face and we're not really seeing her clearly because actually she's had secret plastic surgery on her face. Or I'm there thinking, are you freaking nuts? What the deuce? Like, it's just been the past couple of months when it comes to Princess Catherine and these conspiracy theories. It's been an absolute nightmare um, for her. Uh, for us as a community to actually combat because it just turned into this big, massive monster. And then everyone had a thought or something to say about it. Like, you know, Stephen Colbert, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, all the late night hosts. Well, the majority of them anyway, even John Oliver. I mean, John Oliver should know better. He's English. He's British. He knows the culture of the royal family, right? Even he turns around and says, "Oh, we might have a weekend at Bernie's situation going on." I'm uh, not thinking, dude, you got You must. You have to know better. The other American talk show us. Am I pissed with them? Yeah, but I kind of give them a little bit of a pass because they're American and they don't. They haven't grown up with the royal family like we have in the UK and other culture and all this lot around them. But John Oliver was very, very. It was very surprising to hear that from him. Uh, absolutely insane. Um, so even if he was trying to be funny, you still feel like that was disrespectful for him. Absolutely. He's and he definitely should have known better with that. But then obviously you had the sugar squad coming out in full force, uh, obviously taking advantage of this whole conspiracy theory surrounding princess Catherine. And, oh, uh, I mean, there's, there's one rumor in particular that I've not even addressed on my channel because it's so freaking disgusting. Um, but yeah, they've, they just took it beyond the pale, really. And you had the likes of Christopher Boozy uh, and Omid Scobie that just started crossing lines left, right, and centre, really, at the end of the day. Uh, but it's really well, like, good, actually, that they did that because the mainstream media have actually called them out on it now. So, ha, huh, they're screwed. What What's the really bad rumour that, like, I, I heard that they that she was being cheated on, that Prince William had another... Like liked being pegged. Is that what you were referring to? <laughs> no, no, not that. Even worse than that. Now the cheating room has been debunked a zillion times in the past. Uh, it's something that even I've addressed on my channel the last few weeks uh, because that was going around, and that's just absolute nonsense. Um, what I'll say is this: um, Prin the the sugars were turning around and essentially saying that Princess Catherine was hiding in hiding because Prince William was um, DV. DV. Di diverticulitis. No, 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 no. Sorry. Um, a YouTube human reviewer. Got to be careful with what okay, we say. Right, right. But, um, um, he, he was stuff? not being nice to her. Okay, okay. But of course, that's not true. And it's absolutely okay. disgusting. And they were sharing, and this is the irony of it all, right? They were absolutely slay in Princess Catherine because of the Photoshop Mother's Day picture. However, they then were sharing Photoshop pictures of Princess Catherine as a victim of DV. 
with the marks and everything. It was disgusting what they were doing. Wow. Yeah, the, people were picking apart this Mother's Day photo for what felt like weeks. It looks like one of those games when you go to the bar and you're drunk and you have to circle everything that you think is wrong and you have to look for things that are wrong, even though they look normal. I, I wouldn't like I wouldn't even have noticed, honestly, without people telling me that this was there's something wrong with this photo. I would have just I wouldn't have given it a second thought. But they're saying that the cuffs are off that she wasn't wearing her wedding ring do you think that this is edited like what's your take on this whole picture debacle generally speaking every single photo that you see from a famous person is edited in one way shape or form wow breaking news famous people use photoshop oh my goodness recoil in horror Freaking hell, the Kardashians would probably be out of business if Photoshop didn't freaking exist. You know what I mean? This is a thing, right? It was being reported. Oh, my goodness. There's a kill order on this royal photo, blah, blah, blah. And everyone's making this big deal about this kill order, right, on this particular photo. What everyone seemed to have forgotten, actually, was that in 2018, 2019, there was actually a kill order on a photo that was released from Harry and Meghan. It was a Christmas card photo. It was Harry, Meghan and baby Archie. And there was a kill order on that because it was found to have been digitally altered in one way, shape or form. But the thing is, right, oh no, people are going to put that to one side. They're going to forget about that. They're going to focus on, oh, this is the first time that there's a kill order on a raw photo. Mm. Oh my goodness, this has never happened before until today. Like Wait, no, no, not on comments, people. Yeah. This is not the first time. I mean, the thing is, you know, there was a photo that was released a couple of years back when Queen Elizabeth II was still with us, and she's sat on this chair on this sofa with all her grandchildren around her. And I think, if memory serves me correctly, it was a photo that was. Actually, no, I won't say it because I'm not too sure. But anyway, this photo of Queen Elizabeth with all her grandchildren. That was found to have been photoshopped as well. So what? Mm -hmm. Going back to the Mother's Day photo, it's a mother's uh, Princess Catherine always releases a photo of her and her children every single year on Mother's Day. Every single year. She's damned if she does and she's damned if she don't. And I, the reason I say that is because if she didn't release a photo this year, then there'd still be the conspiracy theories turning around and saying, oh, she's not released a photo this year. She's done it every single year, but not this year. What's really going on? What's really going on? Blah, blah, blah. Brazilian butt lift, uh, uh, plastic <laughs> surgery on her face, uh, Prince William Jean, blah, blah, blah. Like, so, so what? She photoshopped a freaking picture. They all do it. Megzy does it. Hazard does it. I've, I've shown on videos how they've done it. I mean, uh, Megzi uh, with a face with her wrinkles when she smiles. Has her with his hair. Like, he's balding. Fair enough, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to tease him about that, right? It is what it is. However, you see many pictures of him where the Photoshop more of his hair in, so he looks like he's got a luscious lock of ginger. <laughs> him, right? Like, but, you know, no one's up in arms about that. Right. It's the same energy. Do you think they just want to hate on her because she seems so perfect, generally? Or people are just looking to start shit? It's a good question, actually. Um, possibly, yeah. I mean, there's always been this um, kind of age-old merry-go-round of building someone up and then, you know, the public loving then to tear them down. So we love doing that. Yeah. We love doing that with Britney Spirit. We love doing that with everybody, really. Yeah. But especially our, our female celebrities. Right. So maybe in this instance. But the one thing that really confuses the shiz out of me out of all of this is right at the beginning, back in January, Kensington Palace had said, Look, Princess Catherine's going for planned abdominal surgery. You're not going to hear a peep from her. You're not going to see it until after Easter. They set the expectation. They set the time frame. Yet during that particular time frame, when they said, look, we weren't going to see, we weren't going to hear from her, then all these conspiracy theories comes out and it builds up to this big, massive shiz storm. And it's like, why? 
Of course you're not going to see them. Of course you're not going to hear from her. We were told that right at the beginning. Wait until after Easter. Now, after Easter, we don't hear from her, we don't see her. Then I've said even I'd then start being concerned. And I'd be like, hang on a minute. Where is Princess Kathleen? But doing all this during the period when we were specifically told we weren't going to hear from her, we weren't going to see her. It's That just is the biggest confusion I have out of all of it. Well, it's like we're the same way in America with our celebrities. There's just this entitlement. Like we we can't give – it's like a love-hate relationship with the celebrities on one hand. Like you could definitely argue uh, certainly Americans are over celebrity culture, but at the same time, like if we were told like, oh, you're not going to see, see or hear from this person for months, you would get antsy and be like, well, no, we're well, – they can't have any privacy. We're, we're entitled to see their business and um, check on them. So – it's got to be tough for them. Um, I think anyone in that position, it's got to be tough for them. But even m more tougher for the royal family because there is, um, there is a public right, a legitimate public right to know what is going on with them, what is happening with them. The reason being for those that don't know is the part of our taxes actually goes to funding the royal family oh wow right now don't think it's like oh wow you, you we're being treated like mugs kind of thing you know some of our taxes goes to the royal family no because i mean economists have said you know for every pound that we put into the royal family our investment comes back three times because of all the tourism and everything that they attract money-wise into the UK economy just by being the royal family. So actually, it's a pretty wise investment to do as a taxpayer. However, because our some of our taxes goes towards funding and helping the royal family in certain ways, that's why I say it's even more difficult, I think, for members of the royal family because there is a legitimate public right for us to know what is going on and what is happening with the members of the royal family so the pressure that the royal family have in terms of their relationship with the public and what they put out i think is far greater than most celebrities that's true i mentioned if i were british i wouldn't mind contributing to kate's bbl i'd be like get it girl you only live once <laughs> <laughs> you know what <laughs> you don't have to be flat and skinny your whole life get it <laughs> I I, I I I I would say she doesn't need no she doesn't any need kind it. of enhancements whatsoever. Princess Catherine is Gucci the way that she is. She is, yeah. She it, it wouldn't go with her vibe, I think. I None think of her clothes so. would fit. And then we have this th these Meghan Markle, you know, wearing a fake baby bump. And there have been rumors about many American celebrities wearing fake baby bumps. Rihanna is just somebody I can think of off the top of my head. Um, and, uh, but surrogacy has become more and more commonplace and acceptable. Like Kim Kardashian used a surrogate a few times. Like, so now there's this rumor, I guess, that Meghan Markle has never birthed either of her babies. And she's, she's just what uses a, a moon bump whenever she wants attention. What are your thoughts on this? So this is quite funny you asked me this because I actually just did a live stream yesterday on this whole matter um, because the rumours are now coming in just as a quick update that the media, this is a rumour, the media know uh, that allegedly all the pregnancies were fake, both, um, and that they've had enough and that they're going to out her, that they're going to expose it. Because they already now, don't like her. She's already yeah. a problem. Yeah. Now, when I first started looking at the rumours over a year ago, I was on the fence about it. I was like, and I could kind of see it, but eh, I, it, it, it was a little bit hard to comprehend that these pregnancies could be fake, let's put it that way. But looking into it more and more, and speaking to Megan's mole, who is a wonderful friend, she has a YouTube channel here, and she essentially, for me, is the person that is the has the PhD in moon bumpology when it comes to Megan Markle. What's her name? Uh, Megan's mole. 
How do you spell that, Megan? Uh, like Megan, oh, Megan the Mole. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so she's done countless videos on this topic. She knows this absolutely inside and out. She's absolutely knowledgeable when it comes to uh, this particular topic. I mean, just as a little bit more of a shout out, Chrissy, if you ever want her on, invite her on. She knows a shiz when it comes to this. Um, but from what I know and the research that I did, um, I did more research throughout, you know, the year and a half that I've been looking into it and doing it all on my stream yesterday. I've actually turned around publicly and I've said, do you know what? Yeah, I believe a Pinny Gasbuzzi theory, whatever, her, both her pregnancies are fake. I really do. There are pictures that you can find um, and it doesn't look right. The there's one picture where it looks like the bump is square. There's another picture where it looks like the bump is literally down to her knees. Like I'm not literally like physically this bump is down to her knees. It's like falling down, right? Um, we had no idea uh where the baby was being born. Gen like 100% of the time when raw babies are being born we know exactly where the hospital is where they're being born so that afterwards they can come out on the steps and present the baby to the press and the world blah 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 right we had no idea of that there was rumoured but I've not seen it but it is rumoured and I've seen this going around that TMZ had released an article and it was only for four minutes before they took it down there you go that's the picture <laughs> yeah what, what's going on there what could that possibly be that's, that's that can't be your skims falling down like that not really no and skims do stay up I've got quite a few pairs uh, <laughs> But yeah, it, it, I mean, just going back to this picture here, you would expect, okay, if you're going to argue, all right, well, it was a gust of wind, you'd still expect where the top is, where a torso is, to still be out. Right. But it's not. You see it go in at a torso and then out at the bottom. Makes Why would you sense. feel the falling? Why wouldn't you turn around and like, because you know you're constantly being hounded by the paparazzi. Why wouldn't you just like, go in a corner and fix yourself really quick well this wasn't a moment where she was being quote hounded by the paparazzi uh, this was actually an event uh that meg z and hazard actually went to where the press was there to capture it it was one of one of their royal engagements that they made um but wow. yeah when 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 i when i look at all the evidence um and knowing that again rumored TMZ put up this article that only lasted for four minutes before they took it down. Apparently, they had reported on a, quote, surrogate for Hazard and Megzi was going to break the NDA uh, because they hadn't been paid the full amount. Ooh. And then that was taken down after four minutes. Interesting, what do you think right? think a surrogate would make for the royal family? A couple hundred Not thousand. Good. It would be unprecedented. I wouldn't have an idea. It would be unprecedented if yeah, that would be a million dollars. It could be a million or more. Yeah, more. But it's potentially more because we're talking about a baby that would be technically in the line of succession if they were born of the body. And I'm going to get into that in a moment because this is all getting a little bit technical. But um, knowing that and then knowing that they kept it a secret where the baby was being born, I'm thinking, well, hang on a minute. If you did use a surrogate, then of course you don't want to, the press and the world to know where the baby is being born because you don't want anyone then to bump into the surrogate. Um, yeah. And then you look at pictures of Archie afterwards when they present him to the world and everything, and people are saying that's not actually a real baby. That's actually a fake baby doll, basically. Is what Whoa. And then you look at it and you hear then what Megan's Moore has to say about it, and it makes sense. It's it's so crazy. It's unreal, right? And so for me, it's like, do you know what? I 100% believe opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, that the pregnancies were both fake. Do I believe that the children are fake? Because there's a, another theory that both children are fake, actually a little bit aren't real. No, no, no. Those children are real. But the reason why there's all this rumor, the reason why it's important to have this conversation is because you can only be in the line of succession to the to the British throne if you are born of the mother's body. So if Archie and Lilibet 
came out of Megan's JJ. Okay, fine, right? They're in the line of succession, done and dusted. If they were born out of someone else's JJ that wasn't Meg's, then they shouldn't be in the line of succession. Ooh. They need to be out. They could work in the mail room. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know. Do you, think, do you think it doesn't matter because their kids wouldn't even be close to having to lead? You think they have, it doesn't matter. They're they're it not even matter. in the top three. No, it does matter. Uh, because the line of succession is sacred and it's law. So no, it 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 does matter. And yeah, you could turn around and say, well, you know, the sixth and seventh in line of succession, like they'll they'll never get to the throne. Well, it's rumored. That Megsy turned around and said that essentially she's only one plane crash away from actually being Queen of England. Oh my God, that's that's so dark. Yeah. So, yeah, this really, really does matter to get down to the bottom of it. Um, so, yeah, I've also heard rumors that the palace is scrambling to try and get this sorted because, again, rumors. They've been able to silence the media, but they can't silence the internet. And the problem is for them that this rumor started underground. It was an underground rumor. Not that many people knew about it. Uh, it was a very niche rumor. But as it's been talked about more and more and more and got more eyeballs on it, it's now turned into this big, massive monster of a rumor that it's now hard for the palace and the media to ignore. Yeah. Well, the Obama's uh, daughters are not biologically theirs. They like borrowed them from a friend or something. And like, that's, I mean, that's a years old conspiracy theory, but we've been seeing more and more proof of it. And people just have kind of like accepted it because he's not really, uh, I mean, he still very much has a lot of control, but most people think he doesn't. So they're like, oh, I don't know. They're grown. They're going to college, whatever. Don't bother the daughters. But that's very interesting. Very spicy. Yeah. So, yeah, but the, it's it's all, I think, coming to a head because, you know, I'm hearing uh, rumors and seeing it online that the press now are getting sick and tired of uh, having to be part of the charade reportedly uh, when everyone basically essentially allegedly knows that the pregnancies are fake um, they might be feeling like they're being taken for fools and being like you know what we're just going to lift the lid off of it all now so that's what I'm hearing well, I, now whether they let her together but so I'm just saying, how could they let her do that? Like, even if there was a rumor that the first baby was surrogate, why wouldn't they say, like, oh, that's that's a big no-no, Megan. Like, try, try if you have more, you got to have them yourself. Or do you think she just doesn't care? So the um, the theory with Megzi goes that she actually physically can't have children. That a few years ago, she actually had to have a, um, a hysterectomy. Um, now, again, it's rumour, not confirmed. The other rumour uh, is that she had to have a hysterectomy um, because she... Oh, this is what I've heard. Uh, she caught something that damaged her and... Was oh, like an STD? Feline AIDS. Don't know. I don't know. Again, what I've heard, it's just rumor. Do your own research, guys. I'm not making a statement or confirming anything, but yeah. There's, there's a lot of wild rumors out there about this whole situation. And it's just getting worse and worse for Megzi and Hazard the more they keep silent on it. And it's getting worse and worse. For the palace, the more that they keep silent on it. Wow. Do you think they could ever enforce such a rule? Like if someone is looking to get is looking to marry someone, that they would test them for fertility before they let someone marry in the royal family? That seems insane, but well, generally speaking, yes. 
However, the way that this marriage came about was, again, rumoured. Hazard goes to Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, says, right, I want to marry Megzi. Um, do I have your permission? At the time, he had to, I believe, ask for permission because he was so many steps in line to the throne that he needed to do that. Um, the story goes that Queen Elizabeth and Prince Harry had reservations about Megzi, pretty much knowing from day one that she wasn't right for the royal family, not right for him, that she was a snake, this, that and the other. And in the end, the conversation goes that Prince Harry turns around to him and says, well, I'm marrying her like it or lump it. And then all these problems start. Yeah. Yeah. Funny how that happened, right? <laughs> yeah. As Lady C says, quoting uh, Freud, there's no such thing as coincidence. Right. Because if he's always had this chip on his shoulder... Uh, I don't know. He put out that book that no one read, but if he's always like, oh, I'm the, I'm the spare. I'm not important. I, who knows if my dad is even my dad. I don't look like that's a whole nother rumor. <laughs> so Prince Harry addressed this in his book spare and he's like, no, King Charles is my dad. And he was like, you know, all these rumors gave him a complex, gave him this paranoia of uh, uh, people starting this rumor to get him out of the line of succession for him to not be part of the royal family. Now, at the end of the day, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Prince Harry is the son of King Charles. There is no evidence to suggest otherwise. Now, if evidence comes around in the future that actually proves that's not the case, then fair enough. My mind is open to change. Just like my mind is open to change about this whole Megzi fake pregnancy situation. I believe a pinny conspiracy theory or ever both of pregnancies are fake. However, my mind is open to the notion that one day there might be evidence that comes across that proves that, no, those pregnancies were real. Right. So what would they what? have to do? They have to genetically test They have to the kids and then what, find this particular woman or she'd have to out herself maybe? If she could. Yeah. If she could. I mean, you can only imagine the NDAs and the legal locks that would be above such a woman <laughs> um, that, you know, she, she would have to have a lot of um, courage and money to break that NDA. And I say money because then I can only imagine that Hazard and Megsy would go after her to sue her for breach of NDA. If, again, this situation was here, we don't know, rumour, conjecture, all that. Right. <laughs> yeah, then maybe they sue her for... Uh, not defamation or something, but really just simply a breach of NDA is what they do. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is so much. There's so much drama. I feel like there's more drama than usual. Um, I know you have to bounce Steph. Thank you for the update. Where can people find you and follow you and what's coming up? Oh, well, people can find me on YouTube. Uh, youtube.com forward slash Steph the Alter Nerd. And you can also follow me as well on Twitter and Instagram at Steph Alter Nerd. Uh, tonight at around nine o'clock UK time, which is four o'clock Eastern, I have part three uh, of my interview with Lady C. And Ooh. yeah, we uh, do discuss on there uh, the fake pregnancies. We also discuss the title. Um, whether it'll actually be taken away or not, and so much more. I mean, this is the finale, and this is where really we discuss all the juicy, juicy bits uh, for Hazard and Megsy. So, yeah, head on over and uh, see you guys there if you're interested. Oh, do you see a divorce on the horizon for them? Yes. <gasps> and it's already in play. Oh and the reason God. I say that is because I've always said um, that It'll be Megan that will press the button on the divorce, not Harry. And Megan will only will only do that once she's confident that she can stand on her own two feet and can make her own big bucks money without having to be Hazard's wife. And we already, as far as I'm concerned, are seeing that in play. Last year, she signs to WME Agency. Not her and Harry, just her. Wow. We then find more recently, a couple of months back, she attends the Variety 
um, Power of Women event. She does that on her own. She doesn't do that with Prince Harry, right? And there were men there. I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio was there. It's not an exclusive women event. Uh, but she goes on her own there. And more recently, she's now launched her American Riviera Orchard freaking BS Instagram. But again, that's all just her. It's by Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Wow. Uh, and then rumours that it's going to be with, um, in conjunction with Netflix, with cookery programmes, that again, is just going to be Megsy. So as far as I'm concerned, we're already starting to see this in play, that she's breaking away. She wants to stand on her own two feet to get the big bucks, to be famous in her own right, so that then she's comfortable enough to set him loose. Yeah, she's putting the roots down. She's getting her meat hooks in with, with new representation. That makes sense. Yeah. So everyone stay tuned. Subscribe to Steph's YouTube channel. Um, yeah, watch this three-part series. This is like reality TV, but it's our lives, Steph. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But proper reality TV, uh, on the edge of your seat kind of stuff uh that you guys uh will enjoy if i do say so myself of course uh but chrissy thank you so much for having me on i really, really appreciate you and uh yeah i look forward to being on uh sometime in the future yes. and we'll get you on simpcast soon I yes, love we love to dish about the royals <laughs> thank sorry, you what, Steph. what sorry what was that i didn't hear you apologies oh, i'll have to get you on simpcast soon on my sunday night show Yes, please. I I enjoyed the last Simpcast that we, uh, that I was on, and um, yeah, I try and watch it where I can. Uh, but then I kind of fall asleep to it. I kind of start watching it, and then I fall asleep because it's, it's like a great show to fall asleep, asleep to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's not like I'm falling asleep because I'm I'm bored. I, I know, and it's and we go late. It's all good. <laughs> Thank you, Steph. Thank you for inviting me on. See you next time, honey. Bye, everyone. Bye, Steph. We love Steph. Oh my God, she had to run. Um, normally I would keep her another hour, but she's a busy gal. She's a busy, busy gal. Oh God, there's just so much. The King and Prince William now face a serious problem. Why Megan's new lifestyle brand is a ticking time bomb for the royal family. All right, I have so many ads on this browser. Let's pull it up. I don't even know why these come up. I don't even shop at these places. Okay. We've been told that Megan's syrupy new lifestyle brand will reflect everything she loves family cooking. This is just what Steph was talking about. Family cooking, entertaining, and home decor. But the bizarrely named American Riviera Orchard, is be that's the name of her brand? That's horrible. Is better described as a time bomb for the royal family. Despite the homely talk of cutlery recipes and upmarket jam <laughs> not upmarket jam this uh, this has the appearance of blatant cashing in an initiative by the former actress to secure a financial safety net this is exactly what she was saying for when the sussex's earnings from netflix and spotify evaporate oh is this a, a video to her lifestyle brand metagenic it's an ad. It gets to the root of whole body health. Sci For the ad. I don't... Scientifically designed. Here she is on a couch. American Riviera Orchard. No, I don't like that. I think it's got to be one or two words. Makeup, lavender satchels, yoga mats, and even dog shampoo are also on the menu from Montecito as Mail Online revealed last night. Wow. Harry and Meghan once pleaded that they sought no more privacy in North America. They promised the late queen they would not commercialize their royal titles. So much for that. But ever since landing in California in 2021, they've been boasting about their status and exploiting it. When American Riviera Orchard was launched on Instagram earlier this month, the venture was labeled by Megan, Duchess of Sussex. Ooh. Of course. The direction of travel has been obvious ever since Megan and Harry tied the knot at St. George's Chapel, Windsor, in 2018. I can't 
believe they've been married that long. Back then, there was enormous public backing for the glamorous, unstuffy American who promised to add a bit of modernity and spontaneity to the British monarchy. But then we found out the truth. There was nothing off the cuff about the invitation list, though. Uh, few were fooled as they watched the guests arrive at the chapel. Most were Hollywood agents, directors, and celebrities, some of whom Megan hardly knew. All were invited to witness her victory of joining the firm. Um, this was a first step in establishing Megan Inc. a dream she has been loath to relinquish, in which the royal family should rightly fear. Everything Megan does is carefully curated and forensically planned, uh, comments Gina Nelthorpe Count, her formal commercial agent. There have been bumps along the way. To her seeming alarm, the British media reserved the right to be critical of her conduct from time to time, although not at first. To her astonishment, Megan discovered that Harry, then fourth in line to the throne, lived in a two-bedroom cottage in the grounds of Ken Kensington Palace did not command an army of servants and have a limitless fortune. He did not even possess a private jet. That's really roughing it <laughs> for a while. It seemed these were <clears throat> privations she was prepared to tolerate. But the rules about exploiting royal titles turned out to be inconveniently restrictive. It was only a matter of time before Megan resurrected the TIG, her lucrative website, which until her engagement to Harry in 2017, peddled lifestyle choices and promoted fashion, uh, luxury fashion labels to a million followers. So she's always on the grind. She's always, she's always working, this Megan. Hmm. There was ridicule, ridicule in Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York. Used her title to make money from ventures, including slimming tips, posh teas, and a 50 uh, euro juicer. Yeah, this is nothing new. Wow. It just seems so obvious that, that she that's what she's in it for. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> the king and Prince William now face a serious problem and a woman whose personal drive and hungry ambition seem to know no bounds. She wanted to rule the world, says Nell Thorpe Cowan of their time working together. Words King Charles should remember. Until now, he's been too accommodating. It is unfortunate that the king agreed to give royal titles to the Sussex children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Now, after the launch of Meghan's lifestyle brand, he probably regrets it. The clue is in a recent decision to sharply reduce the formal biographies of Harry and Meghan on the Buckingham Palace website. The next step must be to remove their titles. Ooh. For Charles, that will be difficult, but as the King and Kate recover from their illnesses and rebuild the institution, it is a necessary step to protect the sanctity of Britain's most precious brand, the royal family itself. Wow, they really would remove their titles? Oh my goodness. Yes, Steph was fired up about this. She wanted, she was hearing no such, no such conspiracy theories uh, about, Kate, <laughs> about Kate being dead. And needing a body double. I understand it though. That's probably how I. That's how I feel about uh, Trump. I'd be like, don't speak ill of my Trump. But that would be very. I could totally believe that she faked her pregnancies because it's um, it's a vanity thing. A lot of these gals, they just don't want. But because now I get it. Now that I've been pregnant, holy shit. Like, I'm literally out of breath reading that article. Uh, I can understand how people would want to forego it altogether. Like, I wouldn't, but <clears throat> it's pretty it's pretty grueling on you. It's pretty, pretty, pretty bad. I had a feeling it was a two in the pink one of the What? Oh, my God. Is anybody watching the eclipse today? Anybody going outside to squint? Eclipse mania. I think the eclipse kicks off, gosh, in like 20 minutes or so. I'm going to go outside and see if I can see it. Okay, I'm getting a lot of granola bar ads. Okay. Eclipse!
Sweeps mania sweeps America as thousands take to the streets to watch rare path of totality that will plunge parts of the U.S., Canada, and Mexico into darkness. Ooh. Uh, moving through Texas. All right. In any one location along the path of totality, people will see a partial eclipse followed by the total eclipse and then partial again. Visit Indy Senior Director of Public Relations Morgan Snyder told Fox Weather they are expecting up to 125,000 visitors in Indianapolis to view the eclipse. Ooh, all right. So we'll see it go over Buffalo at, at like 318. That's not near me, but... I'm like down here. Wow. Okay. Okay. Black hole sun, won't you come? You washed away the rain. Look, everyone camping out for the eclipse. Mm, okay, now I can't scroll. This guy's got an avocado blanket. Why can't I scroll? God damn it. The eclipse is already screwing with, with my internet. Okay, you know what? Screw this article. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's very laggy. Very laggy. Oh, you know what I forgot to do last time I was on? Was open some mailbag stuff. Okay. These have been sitting here for a while, so apologies if you sent these to me and I just have ignored them. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This did not come with any kind of a gift tag, so I'm so sorry if I have no idea who this is from. Oh, my God. It's... <laughs> It's baby Sinclair from Dinosaurs. I loved this show. Oh my God. This is, where did someone even get such a thing? Oh my God. Not the mama. Oh my God. He gets a little high chair. This is creepy looking, but iconic. Oh my God. This is really, really cool. Thank you to whoever sent this to me. The Sinclair, the Sinclairs are your average family with one big difference. They're talking dinosaurs living in the year um, 60 million BC. Jim Henson's Creatures for Dinosaurs made this early 90s show a comedy that is still certifiably fresh. Now you can bring home a little bit of the Jurassic with Anika's detailed action figures. Baby Sinclair is the youngest child of the Sinclair family and has enough attitude for the whole clan. His favorite pastime is walloping his father Earl on the head with a frying pan. He is the baby. Includes high chair, baby bottle, bowl, spoon, slingshot, baby blanket, TV remote, baseball bat, frying pan, caveman cookie, cookie creature, dinosaur toys, George the Hippo, golden horn head, and interchangeable hands. This is so amazing. I kind of like... Will it lose value if I open it? Look at all the accessories. Can I open this in a way that like nobody can tell? No, you'll definitely be able to tell. We'll have to open this right here. Maybe I could. <laughs> oh my God, I loved this show. Wow, that's amazing, thank you. Amazing. I'm going to figure out how to put this together. Let's see. <laughs> okay, and what's this? What's this? It's a blanket. Oh, my God. Again, I don't know who this is from. Flannel blanket. It's orange. It's like sherbet orange. How neat. How does one open this? Eh, eh. 
Oh, Erica, you sent this. Oh, my God. Oh, I sent it when you talked about your dad and honor of your favorite show together. Oh, God. We would watch Dinosaurs together. We would watch Married with Children together. Simpsons. It was, thank you, Erica. Oh, my God. You're so sweet. Where do you even find that? Eh. This, you know whose favorite color this is? It's Gina Bisconti. Oh. oh, this is so freaking soft. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> I feel like a Cheeto person. This is great. This is so great. I'm going to, I'm going to like watch the um the eclipse in this blanket i feel like a big cheeto i look like a cheeto i wish i knew who this was from but alas no note it matches my hair this is so freaking soft and i have i can safely say i have nothing orange nothing at all bending over is a little bit of a uh, challenge for sure this might be an old thing that I never opened, too. Uh, yes, I think this is from my dear friend Hunter. This also has been sitting here for a while. Gummy, is this, is this gummy bears? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's gummy bears. Wow. I could take these to the hospital. How cool. Should I try one? Ooh. Ooh, I'm so curious what these taste like. Oh my God. What are these? Vegemite and cheese. This looks Australian. Where the heck would someone even get this? This is made. This is made in Australia. This has traveled quite a distance to make it here. Vegemite. Is this going to give my baby birth defects if I try one? I can't really read the back. It's all in Australian. have to try one i must right oh wow you gotta open the hole it's not even just individually sealed what do you guys think it's a little banged up looking what is this comprised of wheat flour vegetable oil vegemite Wheat, barley, food color, milk. Um, okay. I might. Hold on. Hold on now. <gasps> what is this? What is this? Candied violet petals? What the hell? Okay, sugar. Natural flowers, blue number two, carmines from Seattle. These are candied violet petals from France. Ooh, fancy. You can use these to decorate a miniature cheesecake. It's from Hunter. Oh my God, this is from Valentine's Day. Whoops. Very behind. All right, this, that's been under my desk for a minute. A Bob Ross flavor palette. What is this like fun dip? It is. <laughs> it is like fun dip. Oh my God. Green apple, blue raspberry, and strawberry. I might. I might. Okay. This has red 40 in it. I might have to wait till after I get birth to eat this. <laughs> Holy shit. So much fun stuff. 
Thank you, Hunter. You always give me the weirdest, kookiest stuff. Um, let's see. I have my I do have a robe from a Trump hotel. Maybe I should put it in my hospital bag. Maybe I should bring this orange blanket in my hospital bag. I could be like, I could be like, get away from me. I'm giving birth. Get away. Oh, this is fun though. It's very cozy. It is very cozy. I'll try a Vigo bear. Okay, these look like a little bit healthier. Nothing crazy in this. Oh, oh, they, sm <coughs> they smell good. They smell all right. They smell like something. Okay, okay, not bad. Organic rice syrup, organic everything. These are from Sweden. I love a European candy. Foamy gummy bears. Yeah, I would say they're foamy. Mmm. They do smell like um like a fake strawberry smell. Doesn't smell like your typical gummy. It smells like almost like a yogurt gummy. It's a, it smells like, you know, if you eat like a container of strawberry yogurt and you leave the container out for a while, it smells like the, like an old yogurt container. <laughs> I'm painting a good picture, am I? But maybe I can eat these while I'm giving birth. Because all my friends in the adult industry say they eat gummy bears and that keeps them from doing number twos during their anal scenes. Not that that's what I'll be doing. I'll just be giving birth. But if it can keep me from letting anything out during birth that I don't want to, if you know what I mean. Wow, from Sweden. These are not bad. Not bad at all. Vaguely, it is true. It is true. All right, guys. Let's go watch the eclipse. I'm going to go outside, take a peek, go squint at the sky. Um, tune into Compound Media. My good friend Keanu Thompson will be covering In Hot Water today, which I think starts soon. And I will be Zooming in, Skyping in. I'm not going to, I don't feel like eating this right now. This, this kind of scares me a little. I will be zooming into wet spot tonight on compound media at seven 30. No, at seven o'clock Eastern seven to eight. My good friend, Gigi Dior will be guest hosting. Um, so tune into that. Gigi's been on the show before. She'll do great. Okay, guys. Um, oh, thank you, Jim Marshall. 2024 is the year we make the Macarena popular again. Who's with me? I'm with you, Jim. Why not? We're bringing everything else back. Thank you, Jim. All right. Happy Eclipse Day, everybody. I will see you all um, on the wet spot. Tune in at 7 p.m. Eastern. CompoundMedia.com. Happy Eclipse Day. Bye.